How do you like my mustache? We're celebrating Movember and more today on The Express. today's show. Paulo, you're going to teach us the basics of how to smoke a Cuban cigar. But Escapes.ca destinations. What you probably didn't know about Cuba. Why do people smell it back and forth this way? I see it all the time in movies. Mm. Good for you, good for the earth. One of the few cattle farmers left in the lower mainland. You know the background of the cattle. Road trip, an adrenaline ride in the Callahan Valley. and dogs. Youth theater tackling the topic of gangster rap. It's always fun to dance or to perform with the story. See that and more local expression. Welcome to The Express, only on Shaw TV. I'm Joe Hanaward at Ray Rickburn in Vancouver for the kickoff to Movember. Clean shaves to start the month fresh, the launch of the limited edition Tom's Movember shoes, and of course, a focus on men's health. But up first, it's a focus on the health of our communities with a new take on gangster rap, thanks to a youth theater company. This is where hip hop meets Shakespeare. It's really easy to just lose yourself in the movements, and especially with big ones like that, it just lets you have fun and immerse yourself in the movement. It's called Cuts and Dogs, a production put on by youth from all over Vancouver. The play uses hip-hop music and dance to tell the tragic love story between a cat and dog. It adapts the stories from Romeo and Juliet, and instead of humans, the young cast are playing alley cats and junkyard dogs in a sort of animalistic apocalypse. The two sides are essentially gangs fighting over turf. The idea here is to show how gang warfare tears apart relationships and communities. We've really worked to stimulate the emotions in this piece in terms of the loss that happens as a result of gang warfare. Hip-hop music is a huge element in propelling the anti-gang message, despite being known for quite the opposite. But the play incorporates original music by local artist Indeedee Cascade, in hopes the fresh urban sound will speak louder to young audiences. When you look at the political and social change hip-hop that's out there, the form itself uh, is a perfect fit for trying to get across these kinds of messages because it's a, it, you know, it involves a lot of words, it involves layers and layers of music, and we've certainly exploited that. And for the kids, it's the perfect blend of social activism and self-expression. Oh, like when I'm dancing, like, I forget about everything, and I'm that character, and it's like, I, I love the dance. And we actually recorded it, and it looks amazing. I mean, it's always fun to dance or to perform with the story, so to have a narrative to this individual piece is just a ton of fun. Cuts and Dogs will premiere next spring at the Vancouver International Children's Festival. I'm Tim Chung in Vancouver for The Express. <laughs> Cuts and Dogs will have its world premiere in May of 2012. In the meantime, the website is miscellaneousproductions.ca. We kind of have both on today's show. Cuts, if you count the clean shaves being offered here at the Movember kickoff at Ray Rickburn. And up next, it's a training facility in Squamish for dogs and their owners. Yuki, come. Come. Go, go. Yuki, come. Yuki. Yuki, come. love our dogs, but there are times when you need to call in the professionals. In this case, Marin from Port in Hand Pet Services in Squamish. Um, I prefer to say learning, because learning implies that you have a relationship with the individual. So you get to know them and what really makes them tick. Um, and it's a give, it's a take, some, and uh, it's like a dance, and so you're a partner. So now I have to start by teaching you something which could be 
yes, touching my hand, then a signal, and then a, a reward. Touching it. Yes. And then, yes. And then something good. Marin likes to think of herself not as a trainer, yes. but a teacher, helping dogs and owners develop a relationship built on trust yes. and understanding. Reinforcement means that you want the behavior to increase, so it has to be followed by something that that particular individual likes. And what one individual likes, another might not. Whatever matters to that particular dog, use it for reinforcement. Good job. This is kind of a rope. <laughs> I get the other toy, actually. <laughs> is that a fun thing? Is that a fun thing? Is that silly? Is that silly? You got it. You got it. You got it. Hey. After determining Yuki enjoys treats, tennis balls, and tug of war, Marin sets about giving us some tips on coming when called. In the beginning stages, when we want to teach them a new word, in the beginning, every time they hear that word, something great happens, whether it's a life reward, a treat toy, whatever. And as soon as we let them off leash, they know they have a choice. With over 10 years of experience, Marin knows we can't force a dog to do what we want. They have to want to do it in the first place. In our case, we need to place value on the command, come. Nice job. Extra good. Ready? Well, since she's physically fit, she's social with other dogs. She's uh, got a lot of different things that motivate her. So I think we can take her for a walk. Um, but she'll be on a long line in a harness. I nice. want to know that she'll respond in instantly to Yuki, come. Yes. So we're on a good start. <laughs> Hi. I <laughs> know. Let's go. There we go. Good. Go run and play. Go sniff. A walk becomes more interactive if you stop and play a few training games with your dog, mixing physical and mental activity. Have a few treats in your pocket and remember to catch them in the act of doing something good. Yes, good job. Um, nom, nom, nom. So, Marin, if there's one thing I should take away from today, what should that be? Don't let them get into trouble in the first place. Set up for success. Put them on a long line so they don't learn to run away. So set them up for success and then they're looking in your eyes. Yes, catch. <laughs> if they do something good, like looking in your eyes, Catch it in the act and uh, reward it with whatever floats their boat. Ready, girl? All right. Ready? Go have some fun with Yuki. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> Bye-bye. We'll Off you go. We just have to have our, our ears, our eyes, our senses. We have to be open to them teaching us some things about life. This is Dee Raffo living a dog's life in Squamish for the Express. Like any relationship, it's about communication and understanding. And you can follow Marin's blog, that's pawinhand.blogspot.com, for more of her tips and tricks. You're watching The Express, and we've got Movember Madness, Road Trip Rowdiness, and these stories coming up. After the break. Why do people smell it back and forth this way? I see it all the time in movies. Escapes.ca Destinations explores Cuba. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Good for you, good for the earth. Cattle farming in pit meadows. The huge difference to our feedlot than the huge commercial lot. You're watching local TV on the Express. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by... The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward.